everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Kloster Trunk Helles from uh, Unterfranken. This one is from Brauerei Karamelite, located in Bad Neustadt, Salz, in Unterfranken. And it comes in this Euro bottle shape, as you can see. And it's a brewery that I've been looking forward to a lot to try beer from. Um, and for several reasons. And um, it looks real nice with its appearance, with the label and so on. And the Kloster Trunk Helles is the one that I've been choosing uh, from this brewery. Of course, it's the first one from this brewery. I'm having only one beer from each brewery in Franconia to begin with. Uh, since I've been covering all Franconia, that's my plan at least. Uh, regarding um, Karmelito Boy, it's um, a really interesting brewery and always try to for a beer again from Unterfranken. I do have some other ones from this brewery, the Hellestagel beer and the Pais beer for example, but maybe they will be uh, reviewed in the future. But today I did choose the Klostertrunk which did catch my, catch my interest since it's a beer style that's not so easy to know what it's all about, but it gives an old impression with its uh, name, Kloster Trunk Helles. So let's find out later on what it's all about. Anyway, uh, this brew, uh, Calme Little Boy, of course, it gives you the impression of being uh, a monastery brew. Actually, I'm not sure about that yet, but let's find that out later on in the in the review and that's also something that I like so much about Germany. They are having breweries everywhere. Monastery breweries, castle breweries, even museum breweries everywhere in Germany. It seems like there is a brewery and that's what I like of course. Being a beer lover I would like to support the idea of having breweries everywhere. And Germany is, as far as I know, the only country which is still having that left everywhere, everywhere else. People are modern, you know, industrial breweries are taking over everything. Mainly people in general doesn't care about that. They just drink what what they see and what is easy to, to get. I don't like that. I like the old ways. Anyway, this is all about Carmelito Boy Cross Tronkelles and the label looking like this with the monk. I always like labels with a monk. On the front label, I've been having many different breweries with a monk on the front label before. Here you see the top cap of Calvin Little Boy, uh, no back label. I'm gonna show this uh, label closer to you later on in the review, but you can see at least how it looks like. And let's start with um, open up the bottle like this with the Calvin Little Boy, and let's pour it up into the uh, for the beer style, I would say well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass for a different beer style that you're reviewing, in my opinion. It really helps the right flavors of the beer to, uh, to be released. Like uh, in this case, with this, we're having all the beer at once, at one pouring, which is great, of course. Uh, two fingers, the quite foam crown, very pale in color. Um, in my opinion, and uh, I can show it closer to you, looking like this, very pale, as I said, two finger thick white foam crown, very important to top that, and to maintain it all the way through, it helps the right taste to be kept in the glass. <sighs> Klostel Trunk, I don't know really what kind of beer style that is, since they're having another beer with a blue label that's called Helles Lagerbeer. Uh, or Bavarian Hells or whatever, but this is also a, a pale beer as you can see, but Klostertrunk what's that reminds me a little bit of the beers that's called Urtrunk and so on, which is Kello beers. This doesn't look like a Kello beer at all. Um, maybe it's just the name Klostertrunk that they're using, as you can see. Uh, Klostertrunk Helles. But uh, let's find that out. Let's get the aroma. Okay, real fresh actually. Um, it reminds me of something between Hellas and the Calabria, but let's give it a try. The Carmelita Boy Kloster Trunk Hellas Post. Real, real 
nice and taste of course. Um, well balanced between the hops and the malts, of course. Um, as you can expect from a Franconian beer, this is very high quality and of course big recommendation by me. I hope that, that you're gonna find this one and try it and judge for yourselves because this um, Brauerei Karmeliter is, uh, is really nice. Of course, I'll link to the Bruce website in the description box below so you can read out um, more about it later on if you want to. Um, but uh, it, it should be confused with the Brauerei Karmeliten in Straubing in uh, Lower Bavaria, I believe. But uh, or I think it's in Obelai on that other one that I was talking about. But this one is from Franconia, Unterfranken, and um, it tastes great in my opinion. It's a closer look of the label, great looking label in my opinion, with the monk as I said. Carmelita, so it's having a different name than the Carmelita Brauerei that I mentioned. Um, Really, the drink. If I'm gonna read from the label, it says right here Echte Röner Wies Specialität aus besten Hopfen und Malz Erzeugnissen. Vormodisch und süffisch nach überlieferter alter Klotzer Kloster Rezeptur. Handwerklich gebraut seit 1352. Der Hochgenuss mit Klostertradition. Alkohol 4.7% volume, Carmelito Boy 97616, Bade Neustadt Salz im fränkischen Biosphärenreservat Rhön. Uh, Zutaten, Wasser, Gas, Malz, Hopfen. Carmelito, helles Klostertrunk. That's the information on the bottle. And of course, the taste is really great in this Klostertrunk from Carmelito Boy, in my opinion. As you might know, if you've been following my channel, you know that I do have some different books about Frank and Bruce, which I'd like to show you. We have this book right here, and here you can see the uh, Calm Little Boy looking like this, looking um, a little bit like an industrial brewery, but let's find out. Herbert Brust, Calm Little Boy, Ein guter Schluck Heimat. From the 1352, which is very old, even to Franconia standards, I would say. Wir sollten Edelpils, Helles Lager, Kupferbier, Rönerdunkel, Romerten, Export, Weißbier, and Geburtstagbier. Meist getrunken Edelpils. I'll put 10,000 Hektoliters. Ratschenke, Rossmarktstraße. Okay. This Kloster Trunk is not being mentioned in that book, maybe it's a new beer style that I've been discovering, but I thought that it could be a, a good choice to review because of the name and so on. And of course the taste is great. Now, over to the other book about Franco Numbers, this one right here. And you can see, Cat My Little Boy. And the information is from 1352 Florian Johannes, 8000 hectoliters, im Reich der Mitte wohl bekannt als in der Klosterbrauerei von Neustadt. Im 14. Jahrhundert der erste Biersuld eingebaut wurde, regieren, regierten in äh, China äh, gerade Enkels Genghis Khan der Johanne Dynastie. Damals wussten die Neustädter noch kaum etwas über das Reich der Mitte, um was umgekehrt wohl genau so der Fall war. Heute findet nicht nur ein äh, Regelkultur, sondern auch ein Bieraustausch statt, zu dem die Karmeliter Boy 2009 vier große Container der flüssigen Frankenbundes an die große Mauer nach China lieferte. Von der alten Braustätte ist allerdings nicht mehr übrig. Seit über 20 Jahren köchelt man in der neuen Anlage vor Ort Salz. Okay. 
great information of course. Yep. That's it for now. That's the Calvinito boy plus old from Kellis. Really, really nice one. Big recommendation. Uh, and the link is down below in the description box. Hope you like my reviews and see you again in the next Franconia video.